the universe is not gonna say, I'm gonna give you this $5, but not the 500,000. It's the same to call in and create it. It's the same energy. Beautiful friends, fam. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Money Thursdays. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Money Thursdays is where I teach you all the tricks and tips and answer your questions about how to create, manifest, and attract money into your life quickly. So welcome. Before we go any further, you guys know the drill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had 5 million views this year. I am so thankful. Like, thank you. So around here, we are raising consciousness and changing mindsets. If you are new to Fran's fam, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Let me know who you are, where you're from. I love to, to, to kind of vibe with you guys and just know where you're at. Um, all right. So, today I am going to do Money Thursday a little different. I am going to answer a question. And I'm going to answer the question because the person that actually emailed me the question, I gave her some things to do to manifest and attract money quickly. She needed money like right now. She didn't have time to wait on payday or next week. She needed money right now. So, this question comes from Naima. Naima, what's up in Atlanta, Georgia? And Naima says to me, Dr. Fran, what do you do when you need money right now? You have nowhere to go. You have nothing to do. You have no place to go get this money, but you need it like today. You need it like right now at this moment. And uh, this is a good question. And I'm going to tell you why. It's a good question for multiple reasons because I have been in that situation and I've done what I told her to do. And then she told me today that it worked for her. So I thought that I would share it because it is truly what I do and I know that it works. The thing about it is, is that when you are manifesting and creating from a place of desperation, it's a different type of manifestation. You don't want to manifest things from a place of fear because if you're afraid or if you're fearful, if you don't have faith in what you're asking for because you're afraid, you're going to attract more energy of lack and limitation and fear, right? So the very first thing that I do is that I get into a place where I am at least calm. This is how I do that. I get get it I get into my word, right? I start to read my word. I sit with God and I just start kind of pouring it all out. Like, okay, Lord. So, this is where I'm at. This is what's going on in my life. This is what I need. This is what I desire. I don't have any place else to turn. I'm coming to you. You know, sometimes we go to God and we ain't really sure. We're like, okay, all right. I I I'm going to ask you to do this. I don't know if you're really going to do this, but I really need you to do this for me. I need you to do this for me. So, I pour it all out. I get into a place of silence and I just start talking to God. That's the first thing I do. I read my word. For me, I always go to the 23rd Psalm and the 70th Psalm, especially when I'm in a place where I need something immediately. When I need it like right now, those are my go-to Psalms. There are plenty of, of, of verses and, and stories and things in the Bible, in the word that you can use, but for me, I personally go to the 23rd and the 70th Psalm, always my go-to. And I read that three times, right? Why do we read things three times, y'all? I can't hear you. Right. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, completion, right? All right. So I do that. And then after I go through all the, I got a habits and I'm nervous and I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm going through the changes about it, right? What I do is I begin to speak the word over myself and my circumstances. But I do, do that in a different way. Let me explain to you what I mean. So 
I begin to pray positively, right? And we'll have to get into positive prayer because that is so, it's, it's just amazing. And it just kind of opens the floodgates. It's kind of like you are affirmatively praying the things over your life as you want them to be as they already are. So let me give you an example. So I told her after she read the word, what she needed to do was have that conversation with God, right? Have the conversation with the universe, your higher source, your heavenly staff. I am a child of God. I deserve to be appropriately housed, appropriately transported. I am a divine heir of the kingdom. Everything that I need is supplied according to your riches and glory. There is no need for me to ever be without any of my needs and my desires. I trust in the move of God. I trust in your move. I know that you're no shorter than your word and I know that you're gonna come through for me. I trust and I believe that and I thank you in advance. Now, there are other things that I say because I'm talking about my circumstances. So as you're doing this, you begin to talk about your circumstances. Whatever it is that you need, you begin to affirm that in your life in a positive way. She needed money. She needed cash and she needed cash like right now. She needed cash right now. So she had to go to God in a space of, I know, right? Like in a space of faith, I know you are going to deliver this money. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I know that me and my family are going to be provided for because that's what you said. That's what your word says. That's what you told me. And as you continue to do that, what happens is, is you continue to get this air and this vibration of plenty and you start to feel different and you're not as worried about what the reality looks like because you're in a different place. You have elevated not only your vibration, but you've elevated your consciousness. Then I told her to write it down. Write it down as it already is. I am so thankful and grateful for this money and grateful for you pointing me in the right direction. I am so thankful and grateful for you sending the right people at the right time, like right now, to bless me with what I need or opening doors so that this is taken care of. I am so, so thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then you leave it. You don't, don't keep going back to God saying, did you, did you hear me, Lord? Or you, you, you know I need this like today, right? You know I need this right now. When she asked the question by the tone of the conversation that she was asking me, it was like I could feel that the need was like immediate. So what I did was I told her exactly what I did when I had those immediate needs. Here's the thing and the most amazing thing about money. Money is an energy. Money is available to you. It's always available to you. It's never not available. Money is never not available. The only time that money is not available is when we think and feel like it's not available. You can call money in when you need it. Five dollars, five hundred thousand dollars. It does not make a difference. The universe is not going to say, I'm going to give you this five dollars, but not the five hundred thousand. It's the same to call in and create it. It's the same energy. You're using the same energy. So therefore, there is no limitations to what you can actually do when you put this into practice. So she let me know today that what I had told her worked and she had some people show up in her life and do some things for her that she needed done. And I am just so thankful and grateful for that because here's the thing. I'm always going to teach you guys what I do. I'm not going to teach you what I read. I'm not going to teach you what somebody told me. I'll teach you what I did because I'm responsible for that, right? I'm responsible for what I am teaching. Now, I want you to remember this. Whenever you are manifesting or creating anything in your life, your energy and how you feel about that thing and the way that you believe about that thing is going to affect 
how quickly it comes or if it comes at all. Before you start trying to manifest anything, work on your belief system. Work on how you believe. Remember, it always starts up here. You've got to believe it beyond the shadow of a doubt and you got to know that you know that you know and it will show up. All right, guys, make sure that you drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to send your questions and emails to Ask Dr. Fran, and I will leave the link below, and we will talk next Thursday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Oh.